Hello YouTube users. Um, my collection's given me a load of grief today, my internet connection, so I've been on a few forums that's went to one thing or another and usual old rubbish that no one seems to really know how to diagnose a problem. And I thought, well, I do, and maybe I should share this with you. So the first thing you need to do if you've got a problem, you're lagging in games, etc., using voice over IP stuff, you're lagging, you're timing out, is actually check your connection. Bane, if you're going to blame your ISP, make sure your ISP has the problem. So do the, the usual gump, reboot your router, etc., so on. Once you reach a point, then start picking your ISP, because before you blame your ISP, let's find out what the problem is. How do we do that, you say? We go to start, we go to run, and that pops the window. If you haven't got the run thing on the start, you just hit the windows key, plus R, and that pops your run dialog box. And in that box, you just type CMD, that's not that simple, and hit OK. And that will pop a little black box, so, little command.com, whatever you want to call it, CMD34, there, just like that. Now note we have a prompt that will be flinking on there. At the prompt we need to type PING obviously space minus T in this instance www dot VIR. You know who my ISP is, don't you? Virginmedia.com. That's like that. That's ping space minus T space www dot virginmedia.com and press enter. And off it goes. Boom. So I'm now pinging Virgin Media with whatever, and you guys, you can see it's <laughs> one of the test timed out already. And off it goes like that, dunk, 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 and it'll go on and on and on doing that. Anyway, so here we are, a couple of minutes down the line, which is only fair to do. If you leave it, leave it a few minutes to, you know, to keep on and on going. Right, as you can see, I'm using a few packets. Now to stop this, we keep the cursor in the box, and we hit Control plus C. Uh, like so, he says, and it won't stop. And my control is not in the tail. There we go. And the only thing you're actually interested in is that one there. The only line that matters to you is that one there. Now, how do you actually copy that line? Easy. You go down to Edit, and you go to Mark, like so. There. And the line you want is that one there. You've marked the line. I'll show you how to do that again. You go to Edit, that one there, Edit there and mark. The little drop down box comes from this little thing one here. You click on that. Now once you've got that marked you can copy it. You can copy it by hitting enter or go to edit like so. Copy. Now it's basically then open the program, simple program, let's say a simple notepad for instance. A simple good text editor, notepad so. Okay. And bring that down. Now from that we just go paste like so. Now you can see I've sent 62 packets. So I've received 58 back. So basically I've lost 4% of the, I've lost four packets, 6% loss. So anyone playing online games or whatever, you just lag. You'd be dead. And you'd respawn. And goodness knows what happens. Whatever. If you're actually on using voice over IP, it wouldn't be very clear. You'd lose the person on the other end. If you were just browsing on the web, you may not notice it to the greater or lesser extent. This is more just more ping based. But that's how you do it. And when you go to your ISP forums, this is the bit they want to know. You sent 62 packets and how much you lost. That's the only line there. But keep it within your own network and give that a go. Another thing you can check while I'm at this point. If you're on a wireless connection, you could actually check your connection between yourself and the router. I mean I know that the actual IP of my router is 192.168.0.1 Sorry, ping space minus D space and we go to the edit control there edit and paste there and that's just basically pinging my router and my wireless connection, just a Wi-Fi dongle so basically I can see if there's any problems between me and the, and the thing no matter how much it tells you you've got a an excellent connection you may not have. And there you go. Control plus C it stops it. There we go. To copy it, you know how to do it. Okay, bye for now.